Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I just want to take a little break from starting out my video with Christmas stuff. <laughs> um, this is my warm-up um, exercise that I do to get myself into the mindset. You've seen this before. Um, and it's still just the way it was in the video where I talked about the pen issue. Um, let's see. So, I worked on this the other day. Not sure how to finish out the edges. Maybe I'm done. I don't know. I'm sorry about the... Wait a minute. How do I fix this? I'm sorry about the shadow. It's like 8.30 in the morning and the blinds are closed. The dog... Oh, there we go. The dog's asleep. Everybody's asleep but me. And as soon as I start working on this video, someone's going to wake up and open the door and go, Hey! <laughs> and I don't mean my husband. I mean the dog. Cooper. Right, so let's see. I did, yeah, this is the one I did the other day. Um, so I'm going to start a new one today. So these are basically what I do for warm up exercises when I get up in the morning and I'm not sure how the day is going to go, if I'm going to spend the day cleaning or if I'm going to do art all day. I don't know. So I just, this is basically the palette cleanser for my art day. <laughs> can't think of any other way to s describe it other than it's the starter art. How's that? The starter art. This is the opening part. I'm looking at pens that I haven't used so I can finish the project. Um, I'm not much of a pink person. Oh, look, see? Can't use that one because I can't finish it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do I want to use? Um... I'm digging through all these pens, making sure I have a full, well, I use the word full lightly. If you've watched my pen video, you understand why. And I don't like drawing on this side, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to try to make stuff non-directional. Oh, this has a very loose, oh, I think I need to screw this on there better. There we go. It was a little bit loose. Um, I'm going to try to do non-directional stuff so that it doesn't matter if this is flipped upside down. Why is this not writing? Oh my word. There we go. Oh, holy cow. So many pen issues lately. Uh, uh, this is nuts. All right, so I'm going to color this in. I will do that later. So I just want to get it. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. That's what I get for buying cheap pens. Well, I can't say that categorically. Even expensive pens still stop up. But it seems that it's a little more annoying with the cheap ones. No, actually it's not. I'd be more annoyed of an expensive pen that clogs up because I would not expect it to, you know? The cheap ones, I'm like, yeah, I get what I pay for. But the expensive ones, you're like, really? Really? <laughs> you're going to pull this now? I may not finish a piece in the morning. Depends on what's, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm doing a mental to-do list while I color mindlessly about things that need to get done today that either I'm avoiding <laughs> or I'm embracing one of the two. <laughs> I think it's mostly avoiding, but what can I say? I know I have to vacuum today. I ran the Roomba last night and I don't think it did a very good job. So I'll have to go back and vacuum today because I just don't I've had it over a year, and I just don't think it's functioning the way it should. It's like it has Alzheimer's. It forgets where it's supposed to go. <coughs> Can you have Roomba Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's? I don't know. But it's just not right. So I'm going to have to go vacuum. In the smaller rooms, on the during the day... I'll take it off the charger and I'll go set it down in a 
like an extra bedroom and let it close the door and then let it do its thing in there. And um, then I will go run the regular vacuum cleaner wherever the Roomba is not. Oh, that one's up a little too high. Mm, they're not spaced out evenly. I guess it doesn't matter. All right, so I know I got to color this in solid. So sometimes I will give my leave myself a memory thing by covering it, coloring in partial. So I know I've got to finish the coloring in. And I don't want to get too far because I, look at this. This is a new pen I've never used. Look how much ink is not in there. Isn't this crazy that we only fill up a pen to where like, oh, well, uh, that's enough. And here to here has no ink in it. This is nuts. I don't understand how we let pe the industry get away with that. All right, so there's this. Well, there are the dogs awake now. She was asleep, and I guess my talking woke her up. So I want to do a mirror image because this thing is turned upside down. I gave my, I have an elderly dog who's not doing the best right now, but I gave her a painkiller this morning. Okay, I need to go. She has to get up. Okay, well, that warm up didn't last very long because now Everybody in the house is up. So, I think we need to move on to the Christmas stuff. So let me put this away. I'm going to put this in here because I don't want to forget what pen after the black pen incident. I don't want to forget. Oops, let's put it the right direction so we don't. There we go. All right, so there's in that. All right, so let me give you an assessment of where I am at this point in the game. Let me get rid of that glare. All right, and take the rubber band off. I did put the post-it notes. I have left some of them on there. Well, actually, I've left all of them on there, and I don't have enough. All right, here is the first signature. We'll do a, a little quick run-through. There's the house. There's Santa. I have not done anything else. I want to put something over his head. Haven't got that far. There are the package pictures. Here's a Santa. There's the pine cone. I think this is a candle. Yeah, there's the wick. I think it's a fire starter. There's the Santa with the postcard stuff. I just love this one. It's so cute. I did do this and I regret doing this. I won't do that again because, well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. That's the trio from Prem's. And there's, yeah, I just love Prim's Magazine pictures. All right, here's the house. Still have done nothing on it. Nothing else, let's put it that way. All right, um, here's the Santa Claus and sled, says ho, 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 to compliment, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus and the Believe. And then there's the snowman. So that's uh, signature number one. Signature number two. I like fluffing these up every time I open it up. <laughs> and every time I close it, they mashes them down. But I just love these things. All right, here's the house. Um, I found Christmas trees, little mini Christmas trees. Glued them on the back side of the house. I have not. I forgot to put something in the door. I don't know what I'm going to put there. I might have to put a dog. <laughs> I did use the Posca pen on some of this. And I got a Christmas card for some friends that I've known for, geez, umpteen years. Since we met in um, Millington, Tennessee. And they have lived in Tennessee ever since then. Ever since I met them, they've only lived in Tennessee. And they moved to Texas. Like, uh, I think it said, the Christmas card said six months ago. So here's their Christmas card with their family. Their two daughters, their grandchild, and I see that uh, their eldest daughter is pregnant again. 
Um, the youngest daughter, I'm, I'm not sure if this is her boyfriend or her husband. I, I'm not real clear on that one. All right, so then it says, Goodbye, Tennessee. That's the old house that they sold. Let me get it out here. And this is Hello, Texas. And there's Grandma, Grandpa, and Oldest Grandchild. Man, I have to tell you what, I did a lot of cutting up with their Christmas card. I hated doing it, but I couldn't get in, in there any other way. All right, here are the danglies. There's the Christmas tree. There's a Christmas tree with the, uh, I cut it too short. This is from my friend in the UK, Debbie Cork. And <laughs> I cut the green off thinking, oh, I messed it up. So anyway, um, I had to put some musical paper behind it, just like strips to hide the fact that it, I cut it too short too small. This one is finished. I have not done anything else to it. Still the same. This is the same. There's the, um, I don't know to call them carolers or what. I want to put something else in here, but I don't know what yet. There's this guy and the trim. I don't know how much I've done since. Oh, I got another Christmas card from my friends in South Carolina and I cut the card up so that I could use the most of it but this is the back um, flap of the envelope I just thought it was really nice and it made it look like I'm opening an envelope when I open it up and this came off the very back of the Christmas card you open it up and there's the inside or the front of the Christmas card I'm a dog lover so you know all right, then there's another Christmas card from a friend who lives in Massachusetts. And I always like to put the people's name if I can work it in there, my friend Audrey. This is, you know, you've seen this before. And that's the end. So I have lots more work to do. I left a comment on the, um, on the video from today, I think, that... I don't know if I, I, I will be done by the end of the year. I, this is not going to be done by Christmas, of course, but no. I'm waiting for any late Christmas cards or anything like that. I didn't send any out this year, so I don't expect a lot. So I'm going to continue on with filling it up with the um, other person's stuff, cutting it down to fill it in. And that is the overview for now. So... I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to get started on the next part. Okay. Uh, I got distracted by a Japanese cat video. <laughs> this is why I hate recording what I do when I do it, because I'm always distracted by something I see on the TV. Okay, so we have stickers. Background papers. Uh, these are cards and envelopes. See, it says cards and envelopes. I know it's upside down. Cards and envelopes. Tissue paper. And miscellaneous doodah. This is the leftover papers from everything. The gray. My, oh, my miniature box of... Um, oh, there goes the dog with Dad. Images that I've cut off of scrap, uh, scrapbook paper. These are Santa Clauses, mittens, hats, that kind of stuff. And then these are random things. I have a general image container, and I always separate the Christmas out of it. Every time I find something that's Christmas, I put it in here so that it's here when I need it. Ooh, there's a little Christmas tree thing. Oh, 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 oh. I, I'm going to have to use it. Oh, I'm going to have to use this. Okay. All righty, so let's set this aside and go through what we think we might need today. I'm not really sure what I'm doing today. Just know that I'm doing. And that's as far, oh, the dog. That's as far as my thought process has gotten is that I am doing. And some days it just starts with that concept and then I go vacuum. <laughs> okay, so I might have to wait and finish filming more of this after the dog calms down. I don't know. We'll see how much he barks now. All right, so I I really want to incorporate some of this other stuff in here. Some of this that's not Christmas related. Now, see, this is cute, but I don't know where I would put that in here. Um, let's see. Look, every time I dig through this, I just think about how much I love these. This is a rub-on. 
Let it snow. Or a sticker. What is it? It's a rub on. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so I saved this to use as a background, which I have not used yet. And of course, you know I saved the, the one with the trees. I can't help myself. Oh, great. Okay, I might have to wait. Okay, so I think... You know, I really hate to cut this thing up, but it's just so, so beautiful that I don't want to, I, I, I need to use this. All right, so let's see what we can work out here. All right, I need a place that's empty that would, this would look good, hun. Um, may not. I'm looking through the signatures, trying to figure out where to put this thing. That's. Here we go. That's a double, double empty. And I think maybe I could do it in here. And that way I can incorporate it as more a um, cohesive piece. All right, let's see what we can do. God, I hate to cut this up. This really makes me so nervous. Oh. Um, where's the exacto knife? Here it is. All right, I have to think about this. Let me, see no matter where I put this page, it's gonna end up ugly. Cause I'm gonna to have to cut one thing to get to something else and I, I really don't wanna do that. And I don't want to just cut out this because you can feel where she glued the paper on underneath here. And there are beautiful pieces here and this one has nice bling on it that just, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Oh, I don't know. I don't wanna tear this thing up. I think the best thing is I'm only gonna get two of these in here. I will be able to get these two here, yeah. I will be able to only get these two here and this one, and I'm gonna end up ruining other ornaments, but at least they're not, okay, so they're not horrible. I mean, it wouldn't be, oh. All right, let's try this way. I need the end of it to be up here. And if I cut this, then it's going to mess up this. Okay, now my brain hurts. Let me have a sip of coffee. No, <coughs> oh, it doesn't matter what I do. It's I'm going to ruin whatever's in here. It doesn't matter how I do this. It, something is going to suffer. This one will be more skinny because it's a fold out, a tip out on here. So this one should be safe for the larger and this one the smaller. I think this one will be the smaller. Yeah. But the height of the page is going to interfere with this. I hate tearing up other people's work. All right, so let me get a pencil. Pull the trigger, Vicky. All right, there's that. There's this, and then I'll just kind of go from there. I need a bigger ruler. Of course. Okay. All right, where is the... I can't see the pencil marks. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there it is right there. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna, oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. But truly there is not. I've looked at this a million times. All right, let's pull this off of here because this is not gonna make it. I'm gonna end up cutting right through it. So let's take that off. Maybe I can save that for something else. Oh, I'm going to hate myself when this is over. <laughs> okay. And see, you can see where the bottom of the ornament for the one above it is. See how it's thick? So that's where all this paper right here is crammed in, you know, is done at the bottom there. All right, so let's take a look at the short piece here. Let's see what we're working with. Where did I put the pencil line? I, I can't even see it. Well, I know I have to cut the trim off the bottom, so I might as well just start there. Because it's not going to make it in here. I get it? Nope, not all the way. All right, so there's that. I think the initial cut's the hardest one to make because you just don't know if it's gonna turn out the way you're hoping. And let's put this here because this is the back side. Yeah, I'll get the majority of the ornament in there. Let me put this here and then draw the, make sure it's dark enough I can actually see it. Okay, so it's not the first cut that's the hardest. It's all of them. All right, let's see what we did here. Okay, so I'm going to try to trim this stuff off, but otherwise, not too shabby, huh? It's not centered, but oh, it's good as it's gonna get for now. Let me see if I can line this up and make this more straight, a straighter cut. I like having the Tim Holtz glass mat. The only problem is, or mixed media mat, whatever they call it, the only problem is, is when you're filming, the lights reflect off the glass and it's hard to see it, but it's great for measuring stuff. Not that this is bad. I'm just saying that I, I do like the glass mat. Okay, so here we have this. And let me see, is that gonna obstruct I might have to, no, um, and if I open it up this way, will it, let's do it this way. I just want to make sure that nothing is rubbing on here when it goes in the book. It's so close. All right, let me just shave. Let me shave just a tad off of here. I think it's going to interfere with opening and closing. Okay. So, there we go. Ta-da! Okay. Breathe, Vicky, breathe. <laughs> Let's do some Aleens. I cleaned this off the other day and it gets plugged up every time. And I cleaned out the, the inside of this with the toothpick, trying to dig all that nastiness out. What I really should have done is run, run it under warm water to help the meltdown. I'm going to make sure I get the edges really well because those tend to be what flop up later. Who needs to go to the gym? I'm squeezing glue. Don't need a worry ball. Just squeeze glue out of a container. Right. Let's line this up best we can. Where's the fold? 
let me open this up and do the fold on the fold so that I make sure it doesn't see. I, it's going to show a little bit of gray there, but once I sew it in, I think it'll be fine. She does beautiful work. Just beautiful. Okay, let me put the book back together again so I can remember how it went. There's the houses. Thank goodness I did two so I can remember where to put stuff. And then this is the, eh. and then this one was the second, so this folds here. And then this goes in here. Let me turn the page and ta-da! <laughs> oh. Okay, so this one's too short because I cut this one full length. I think I'm gonna cry. This Merry Christmas one's gonna really mess it up. Well, I can't do this because it's still too short. Oh, stinkers. All right, so I might have to do to this one what I've done to others. I might have to cut out the individual pieces and put them on a page together. If I was gonna feature one, I wanted to feature this one, but because of where I cut to do this one first, it messes up this one. And this one's too short to go in here. So do I want to extend this out to another page that's a, a tip in and then cut this apart into it. I wanted to keep this as a flow and if I put this here there's going to be too large of a gap. I do not have this kind of paper or color of paper so I have a bit of a dilemma. Let me see, do I have any tip outs in here that I haven't already done? Now the cat's unhappy. Everybody in this house has an ax to grind this morning. <laughs> of course, this is too short, so if I took it apart, it would have to be... No. Ooh. I don't know. No. This would mean less work if I put it, I would ruin this one. If I slide it over into the middle or close to the middle, I will save this and this. I could go down here and then take the paper and glue it on the top and the bottom so that the page works. Or I could take this and <laughs> put it right there and be done. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm going to do that to another page, why don't I just do it to this one and fill it in? Well, that's just plumb silly to think otherwise, right? All right, so I have this page. Let's scoot this out of the way. I have this page here. So while I have the fold here, I'm gonna try to look at it to make sure this does not go on the fold. So I could scoot this over a little further and it will save this and this. And then the rest of it is just expendable. Okay, so we'll take the itty bitty ruler and we will go down along the side of the page. Oh! even with the page. And I don't know if you guys can see the fold or not. You thought I was going to use the blade, didn't you? <laughs> Fake out. <laughs> 
All right, let's see if we can get this on the line straight. Not that the pages are straight, but we're going to try. Okay, so this is not the one I wanted to use. This is. And it pretty much goes there. I have this left over. Where's my other part? Ooh, do I have the wrong signature? <gasps> I do. Okay, now I'm all confused. <laughs> there. That goes with that. Ooh, we're never going to be able to close this. Where's the other Okay, this is just not right. I've got two signatures mixed together here right now. All right, so this goes with this. This goes together because there are the houses. Here's the out. This is the back side. And this will be the other side for this one. So what I need to do is... I need to cover up, I could go up top and just cover up all this at the bottom, but would it be less obvious if I, did a little at the top and a little at the bottom, if I only did just a smidgen, but then I can, let's see, let's do it this way. That kind of looks like it belongs there, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it at the top. Where's the bottom of the page? There we go. And then I'm going to put this here. I'm not going to glue anything. off. All right. I'm a little wonky. No, oh, well, it's not straight. Okay, and I'll explain some of it right there. down here and it won't interfere with the sew line because it's a big bulky piece and no I can't strip off the back because that's what's holding this thing together so I don't want to take that out but it's going to make the book really bulky all right I could glue up to this certain point lift it up yep that's what I'm going to do I'm going to glue let's see this is here so I'm going to glue up to a certain point. And then I will insert this in and glue them down and then cut. That way I make sure that it's lined up before I cut it and then regret my decision. All right, so let's line this up here. At least it'll, whoop, at least it'll be lined up on the bottom and the side. So there's that. Okay. And it's not glued all the way up. So let's see. We need to take this and I'm going to have to cut some of this off here. So I can line it up. You know, I'm not striving for perfection, just striving to make it not look so dumb. <laughs> it's kind of 
of like a Christmas junk journal. This I don't consider any of this stuff junk, though. That's the sad thing is people call this stuff like this junk, but I don't think of it as junk. All right, so I could glue, let me glue that in a little further so it looks a little cohesive. There we go. So does that look bad on camera? No, it looks pretty good. Although there will be a seam there, and yes, this is cut off on the top, and yes, this is going the wrong direction, but if I do it like this, it's still going to look weird. Okay, so we're doing it like this. This is how I'm justifying what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, now we can squirt with this. I'm going to put glue underneath here and on the side. And then I'm going to take glue here. And slide the bad boy in. This is a little much for me this early in the morning with only, well, I've had two cups, almost. Well, no, one and a third. And we're just going to smooth this down the best we can with the glue. Is that going to glue down? Yes. Okay, so I'm getting glue on my other page and it's going to stick. So let me just let this kind of wave in the wind for a second. Flip her over. Let's use a straight edge. Not that that helps me to cut straight, but it lessens the possibility that it'll be really wonky. Cut this off. Let's take care of this little thingy here. Bad place to set my thumb when I'm cutting, right? Thankfully nothing bad happened. Okay, and I got this. Okay, so I need to save this for something else. I don't want to throw this or this away because I might have to do some filling in somewhere else. Okay, let's see if we can put this together. slips under here. This goes like this. And there's a cohesive page. What do you think? Yes, you can see the gray here, but I think once it's sewn in the book, it won't be that big of a deal, although I could ink it. But I don't think I have any ink that's dark enough to detract and not stand out. I just don't think I do. The only thing I would have is watercolor, and I don't want to wet this because it's glued and it'll come unglued. So maybe I just leave it alone. I know, novel concept, right? Okay, so where does this go? Ugh. Okay, look at this. <laughs> that is so not what I was striving for. All right, so I have this one this way. Should this one go in here? I don't even remember now. Well, it's there now. I'm going to have to go back in the video and watch when I thumb through it. I know these two go together. I thought I had something on the other side there. Maybe not. There was something on this other side. What it was, I do not know. I don't remember. Maybe it was this. Nope, can't be because it won't fit together. All right, well, I'm going to go back and through the video and look. This is terrible. And this one definitely has a weight problem. This one could take up the whole book by itself, right? Oh, good grief. Look at that. That's what's causing it, is these beautiful ornaments. And no, I'm not taking them out. They're staying. And then we have this. This. I know these go together. I remember that part. Do I want to incorporate this on the other side? I don't have enough paper to fill in the... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have enough here that, and it's cut basically to the right height. I don't know. Do I really want to do that? <sighs> Probably not. 
So let's set that aside for now. Let me think about this. This, I know these two go together. This goes there. I know this belongs here. And this was a blank page where I was going to put other carolers. And then didn't. So I guess this really is, okay. I don't think it is. I think this goes in a different book. Nope, because the houses are there. <laughs> Can't remember how it goes together. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> need to stay like this for a few minutes. Because I am going to forget, and I already have, how these go together. All right, let's take a look at this one. The house. I know this belongs together. I don't remember what was on the other side there. There's the Christmas tree. This had something on the other side. Oh, mercy, what was it? This is shy pages. One. Two. Three. Four. So one of these inserts in this one belongs in here. That's why I try to not work in more than one signature at a time when they're not sewn together. This one, I know these go together. And these two are going to go together because this goes together with this, so we do these two together. But I think this one might have to come out. This is just plum silly. I don't remember. I think this is it. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. No, because this goes with this. <laughs> okay. I have to drink some more coffee. After five more gulps of coffee, <clears throat> excuse me, I discovered I'd screwed up. I watched the video when I did the initial flip in the beginning and realized that when I cut my stuff up, I did it. Alrighty, so <laughs> I got flustered, watched the video about how I had this stacked in and I realized that I put the other thing in the wrong signature. So, <laughs> Um, so this is what I've done. I took that other little piece I set aside and the two other pieces that were miscellaneous like this. I cut this one down and, uh, yeah, cut it down a little bit and decided that I saw that this matches that. So I did cut so that it would go in the book so when the book is closed or uh, I mean when the book is open it'll have a little continuity there. I could not do that with this so I just took a random piece and glued it here. This is the piece I cut the first time around. Let me take this off of here. Can I do that? Yeah. I don't know whose writing this is but I don't want to put it on camera. Anyway, so what I'll do is to lessen the bulk, whoops, I will glue this and I cut this part just a tad short when I cut it the original time. It wasn't this time, it was the original time. And I'm going to glue this on here like this. And yes, there it's not perfect, but I'm, I'm okay with it because I didn't want to lose this or this or the other one. So the only thing left of that page is this. And then what I cut off you know, the tops right here. That's the only thing left. I did my best to preserve as much as of this woman's handiwork as possible because I just thought these were gorgeous. I mean, come on. Am I going to make that? Eh, I don't think so. All right, so let me put glue on the back here 
out of the camera range because there is writing on the back of this and I don't know whose writing it is and I don't want everybody to read the message they left their friend. So I, I'm just going to do that off camera and that way nobody gets upset if they see something on here they're not supposed to see. Which is Christmas greetings from 2012. Let's see if we can line this up with the end of the page here. I want to try to scoot this as close as possible so there's no gap. Yep, there we go. Yeah, there'll be a little gap there. It's okay. So there's this one. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trim off this stuff here. Let me set this aside. Ye old ruler. See if we can just trim off the excess. I don't want to trim off the top of the actual book. All right, so there's that. Ta-da! There's this, this. Whoops. This and this are all that are left of that page. Pretty good, huh? I'm really excited that I did not tear up all her stuff to the point of no return. All right, so here's this. And there's a, a spread with continuity, which I like. All right, so that might be it for today because I actually have to get up and do laundry and vacuum. I know, it's just horrifying to me. <laughs> I don't really want to do any of it. And uh, I'm trying to avoid it <laughs> at all costs. So I, I think I might put the other little carolers on this side, so I have two kind of the same. So I'm going to need to uh, scan them and print them off and see what I can cut out of them and try to make them smaller so they'll fit on here. This I don't know what to do with. I don't know. So these two pages are done. And then I still have this to do. So let me put... This here to remind me that needs to be done. And I know the back side of this needs to be done. This is done. That's empty. So I don't know what I will do, but that's this one. I'm slowly working my way through the things. I put this one back together. There's the Santa. I got it in the right order. I had to go back and watch the video when I did the flip. Thank goodness we do flips, right? And that's part of it. And there's the other one that I meant to put the other thing on here. And I took it apart and shuffled around the um, signatures and put it on the wrong place. So there we go. That is that. So now I'm going to have to find something to put over here. Let me look through the papers while I'm not on camera and see what I can come up with. Whoops, let's don't do that. Um, and in the meantime, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys all got your Christmas shopping done. I have not. <laughs> But mine will all be over the internet and probably Amazon gift certificates. I am just not willing to go out and fight the crazy people who are looking for the one-time good deal. I could care less. I'd rather give people the Amazon card and let them do the shopping from home or um, and buy the things that they actually really do want, not what I think they might want. So hopefully everybody will be happy in the end. <laughs> they don't have to go shopping outside. I don't have to go shopping outside. For me, it's a win-win. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good day. I'll be back with the next installment as soon as I figure out what to do next. Bye.